Was there a situation where you had with like one of Young Buck's homies or something like that backstage or? No, not backstage. At one point, um, he had an artist that he had on tour, Sosa the Plug, and he and I was, being the newest people on the tour, was had to share a room for a couple of nights, and it only lasted a couple of nights. It got kind of physical, and we uh, we kind of tore the room up together. In the past, I've told this story, and I guess I said it like I won the fight. So I'm gonna just say Sosa didn't like that. I don't know where Sosa be at. I ain't seen him from way back then, but he popped up on my social media, not liking the fact that I said I won the fight. He claimed that I won the fight. So I'll just say he and I tow up the hotel room. Did G-Unit or 50 Cent have rules like the members can't get into it? Yeah, it was zero tolerance for fighting amongst the clique is one of the reasons why I assumed that there was something going on with me in the situation that was not typical because it was very early on that I left on tour with Buck and got into the fight with Sosa. And like I say, it was zero tolerance for fighting. Um, a portion of the jury I had on was, was had been loaned to me at that time. I can recall sitting in the hotel room, taking the jury off, sitting on the table, shot money, looking at me real sad, like, yeah, bro, you going to have to go home. and. Uh, you know, you're going to get back out here as soon as possible, but yeah, you're going to have to go home. 50 don't play with that fighting shit. And I can recall sitting in his room and then Buck getting on the phone with 50. And I can recall him pacing, going back and forth. And whatever, however that shit was going, I remember like tapping Buck's leg, like, let me, oh, let me holler at her. And as soon as I did that, he, I heard him tell 50, like, yeah, 50, he want to holler at you too. And then when, he, when I got on the phone with 50, I'm swallowing a lump in my throat, finna try to explain what I'm going to say. And he told me, he was like, hey, look, Lo, if that guy can't figure it out, he's going to have to get up out of here. I was like, oh, all right. Got my shit back on and never skipped a beat. And yeah, and I've seen like two of his closest little homies um, duke it out, Halim and Hove. He sent both of them home for a spell. His driver, Bruce, fought on Chris Lighty. He had to go home. When I did my Dougie, he didn't send me home. Is 50 Cent like a Iron Fist type of guy when it comes to being the, the boss or the, the head guy of everything? I think his character has that element there. He doesn't totally rely on that, but at times he presents it like that, and you gotta kinda figure out how much is it that and how much is it the casual part, because he doesn't stay like that totally. But it definitely times when it comes down to it where, yeah, it is what it is. So 50 Cent had no problem getting rid of damn near anybody. Now that's a whole nother statement. You just said a oh, whole okay. nother statement, bro. You, you didn't see him get rid of much many people, just like effort, you know, that's not what he did. I didn't see him do that a lot. Okay. You know, he pretty much still with the people he started with. Yeah, yo and Banks. I seen somewhere, I seen you say in an interview, the people would come up to you and ask if Olivia's really a man. Yeah, that's crazy. It seems like that dude has relied on saying things that ridiculous for years, bro. That's how that's how much you can put into a, a Doja statement. Do you remember he said he left G on it because they're a bunch of butt pirates? Gay butt pirates, that's why he wanted to leave? That was the first thing he was saying? I don't remember that. And then he was begging to be back at a reunion with the gay butt pirates. <laughs> He did want to come back and yeah. do some, uh, what was that, six, seven years ago? Or yeah, years ago it was at one point when everybody was confused as to the beef and he was like, all right, I'm gonna clarify it. Wanting to be funny or whatever, I'll clarify, this is why. The real reason why I don't want to fuck with them, because they bust a bunch of gay butt pirates. Whoever wants to be back around them guys, unless you into that shit too, if that's what you think about them or feel comfortable saying about them. I wouldn't even want to be around nobody who I was comfortable saying that about. Mm. I see what you're saying, man. Well, Spider Loak, man, it's, uh, it's been dope working with you again after all this time, man. Likewise, man, I appreciate the invite back. And I don't know if I said this last time, but you always got action, man. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. I definitely like working with you, man. You're Likewise, you're dope, man. man. Appreciate, appreciate you, bro. you, bro. Yeah. For sure.